The distance between your outstretched arms is your height. You renew your skeleton every 10 years. Whoop, time to renew! You lose around 100 hairs every day, and that's totally normal. Humans are the only creatures who sleep on their backs for a long time. Koalas, like humans, have their own unique fingerprints. In a lifetime, the average person will walk the equivalent of three times around the world. A person can have from 250 to over 1,000 hairs in each eyebrow. Your eyebrows also have a lifespan, about four months for all the hairs to fall out and be replaced by new ones, thank goodness. Your eyes are the only organ that doesn't grow with age. Human DNA is 96% similar to a chimpanzee, 90% similar to a cat, 70% to a slug, and 50% to a banana. That has appeal. <laughs> you share 99.9% .9 of your DNA with any random person on the planet. Your heart is the size of your fist. Your brain, two clenched fists. When you listen to music, your heartbeat syncs with its rhythm. You can't swallow and breathe at the same time. Trust me on that one. There are as many nerve cells in your brain as there are stars in our galaxy, about 100 billion. The popular belief that people only use 10% of their brain power is nothing but a myth. Even when you're resting or sleeping, more than a tenth of your brain is working. You're more likely to get attracted to a person who thinks and looks the same as you. The belief that opposites attract isn't true. Your nose and ears are the only parts of your body that never stop growing. The human brain generates enough electricity to power a small light bulb. If your eye was a digital camera, it would have a resolution of 576 megapixels. Your tongue prints are also unique to you, but let's not lick the scanner. Scientists at the University of Pittsburgh found that blue and green-eyed people are less sensitive to pain than brown-eyed people. But lighter-colored eyes are more light-sensitive than dark ones. The microorganisms in the human body outnumber cells 10 to 1. I, I, I. About 6% of people can vibrate and rapidly shake their eyeballs back and forth. It doesn't mean something's not right with their eyes, it's just a unique trick they can perform. Good at parties, I suppose. Fun fact about bones. You know that your body is about 60% water, right? What's new here is that your bones are also in this too. About 25% of human bone mass is made up of water. Not all of your brain's regions are active all the time, but most work on this or that task 24-7. Every two minutes, people all over the world take more pictures than they did in the entire 19th century. However, there's nothing said about today's photos being any better. People are kind of programmed to return favors. This instinct probably developed when people needed to help one another to survive. Studies have proved that sneezing is your nose's way to reset. A sneeze reboots the cells that line the insides of your nose. They're called cilia. Sneezing is also one of the first defenses against bacteria and other, you know, unwanted stuff. When the delicate nose lining gets tickled with a foreign substance, like pollen, dirt, or dust, it sends a signal to your brain. The brain informs your body it's time to sneeze. The part of your brain that's responsible for vision is actually in the back of your head. The right side of your brain controls the vision on the left side and vice versa. Okay, put down your phone and pay attention. Multitasking is actually impossible. Your brain only allows you to switch between different tasks really fast, but not to do them at the same time. Such context switching isn't ideal either. Studies show that, in this case, people make mistakes much more often. Plus, they need twice as long as usual to do things. So, focus! There is one exception, though. When you're engaged in some physical activity you've done many times before, you can simultaneously perform a mental task. That's why you can easily walk up the stairs or take a shower and think about problems at work. Now, food tastes better when someone else has made it. That's why a sandwich from a cafe looks more appetizing, even though you use the same ingredients. One study suggests it's because it takes time to make yourself a meal. So when you're ready to dig in, you don't feel all that excited. Your body contains enough blood vessels to wrap around the planet two and a half times. You spend four months in each year asleep. In a lifetime, you rack up 26 years. Only six of those years will be spent dreaming. We forget 50% of a dream within five minutes of waking up. Ten minutes later, it's 90%. Each cell in your body contains 1.5 gigabytes of information. 
Do the math for your 100 trillion cells and see that you're one powerful walking computer. Your brain cools down when you yawn. Your ears work even when you're asleep, but your brain ignores the incoming information. The bumps on your tongue aren't taste buds. They're called papillae. Not all papillae contain taste buds, but those that do, that have one to five in each. The atoms in your body are 99% empty, and yet you feel full after dinner. Now, how is that? The brain grows for the first 18 years of life and then gets 5% smaller every 10 years after the age of 40. Well, that explains a lot, don't you think? We spend 10% of our waking hours with our eyes closed just from blinking. The muscles that work your fingers are actually in your forearm. Your foot is the same length as your forearm. Same ratio with your thumb and nose. Your toenails grow three times slower than your fingernails. Your lungs aren't identical. The right one has three lobes, and the left one has two. Your hair grows faster when you're sleeping. The only thing that grows faster than hair is bone marrow. Your body releases enough heat in a half an hour to boil two quarts of water. Your brain uses 20% of the energy your body generates. Your body uses more energy to cool itself on hot days than to warm up when it's cold. People can go much longer without food than without sleep. Stomach acid can dissolve metal. It's so strong that the stomach has to create a new lining every 3-4 to four days. So, what's eating you? Your stomach. In terms of muscle, your tongue is like an elephant trunk and an octopus arm. That's just wrong. Your nails are made of the same stuff as a rhino's horn and a horse's hoof. And the rhino wants it back. We have nails to protect our fingertips. Without them, you wouldn't be able to grip things as well. You use 200 muscles just to take one step and 50 muscles just to use chopsticks. You use only two fingers to play chopsticks. Most people speak about 125 words per minute. The brain can process 800 in the same time. Me? I can go 185 with wind gusts up to 250. Your skin completely renews itself every 27 days. Now, you can't tickle yourself. Your brain already knows of your intentions and prepares your body for it. Humans are the only species with an outline that separates the lips from the surrounding skin. Half the bones in your body are in your feet and hands. Come on, let's share, guys! Finally, cornflakes have more genes than people do. Your cereal has 32,000. You have 20,000. Your memory is affected by your body position. For example, you're much more likely to recall a situation where you wave to someone if you stand and wave again. Your brain has millions of neurons. They're all different, and the speed of the connection between them is different too. That's why you can recall some information faster than others. The brain itself, by the way, can't feel pain. It has no nerve endings of its own. People with red-colored hair are 1% of all people. 2% are natural blondes. Yeah, most people you see with these hair colors have dyed hair. Black is the most common hair color in the world. A human eye resembles a car engine. Both of them need liquid for good lubrication. The engine needs oil, and the eye needs tears. To make sure the eyes work right, tears are distributed all over them. That's why we blink more than 10,000 times a day. Most people are sure that humans only have five senses, but that's not entirely true. Taste, touch, smell, sight, and hearing aren't the only ones we have. Scientists claim that people have between 9 and 20 senses in total. These include thermoception, the sense of warmth, equilibrioception, the sense of balance. There's also the sense of time, although not everyone seems to have that last one. We used to think that there were just eight different blood types, but in reality, there are over 30 known blood group systems. Here on the bright side, our favorite blood group is B positive. Get it? For every pound of fat you gain, you generate one mile of new blood vessels to supply oxygen and nutrients to your body. Your stomach produces a new lining every six days to avoid digesting itself. Nerve cells transmit 1,000 nerve impulses a second. They travel between 1 and 268 miles per hour. Our DNA contains 100,000 viruses. Scientists have discovered one that goes back 100 million years. Your body emits visible light. You're the brightest at 4 p.m., and your glow is the least visible at 10 a.m. Unfortunately, this glowing is 1,000 times less intense than what your eyes can see. 
Sweat is mostly water mixed with proteins, sugars, ammonia, and a lot of other stuff. It even contains tiny amounts of trace metals like copper, zinc, nickel, iron, and so on. What makes sweat taste salty is the sodium it contains. Plus, the more salt you eat, the saltier your sweat is. Your body's trying to get rid of the excess, and the fastest way is to sweat it out. If you walked 2 miles per hour, you'd have to walk for 20 hours straight to lose 1 pound. And it would take you 518 days and 8 hours to circle the equator. Earwax isn't actually wax. It contains fat, skin cells, sweat, and dirt. Your brain gets three times bigger over the first year of life and reaches its full maturity when you're 25. 60% of it is fat. Your brain generates around 23 watts of electrical power, which is enough to run a small light bulb. Humans can't really multitask. Your brain can't perform more than one action at the same time. It switches between them, which doesn't save time as you might think, but increases the possibility you'll do something wrong and makes the process longer. When you have an exam to take, or you're at work trying to focus on an important task, try chewing gum. Research showed it can help you stay concentrated for longer on tasks that require your full attention. Studies even say that it's a better test aid than caffeine. There's nothing special in the gum, but the act of chewing wakes your brain up. The effect doesn't last long though, just for 20 minutes. Embryos develop fingerprints at three months. Your bones are four times harder than concrete. The strongest bone in your body is the femur. It can support up to 30 times the weight of a grown-up person. Even crazier is that our bones are made up of composite material, meaning they're both hard and elastic at the same time. Sunburn is the result of radiation exposure. When your body's natural defense mechanism gets overwhelmed trying to fight UV rays, a toxic reaction occurs that results in sunburn. Goosebumps are an evolutionary reflex left over from our ancestors. The release of adrenaline made their hair stand up, and they look scarier to approaching predators. Your body produces 1 to 3 pints of saliva every day. It helps you digest food and fights off infections. You also have a lot of bacteria in your mouth. Yeah, that's right. The average amount of bacteria in a person's mouth is almost the same as the number of people living on Earth. That's hard to digest. Each human has roughly 150,000 hairs on their head. Every strand grows around one half an inch per month. If we added the growth from each hair, it would measure the distance of 10 miles in just one year. Your hair is also a lot stronger than you think. A single strand can hold three ounces, which is the weight of an apple. If we combine the strength of all the hair on your head, it could support the weight of two elephants. Hey, let's try it. The beating sound your heart makes is the clap of valve leaflets opening and closing. Your heart doesn't replicate its cells unless you have an injury. Your corneas are the only part of your body that don't get blood. They get oxygen directly through the air. When you're sitting or standing upright, it's easier for you to recall some positive memories that make you feel good. Some believe it's because sitting up with your back flat boosts blood flow and your brain gets more oxygen, which helps it function better. The man who has the deepest voice in the world, and that's definitely not me, can produce sounds that humans, including him, can't hear at all. But elephants can hear those sounds. Veins look blue because light has to go through layers of skin and fat to reach them. Your skin scatters a lot of the red portion of white light before it reflects the blood. This leaves only the blue light to bounce back to your eyes. A person who has anosmia is unable to detect smells. Phantosmia is the opposite condition, when someone smells an odor that isn't actually there. The human brain has 100 billion neurons. It's 73% water, and the same is true about the heart. That's why if your brain loses even 2% of its liquid, you start to feel tired. It also makes your memory worse, shortens your attention span, and puts a dampener on your mood. The earliest known person to have had blue eyes lived in the Stone Age, 7,000 years ago. Your right kidney is probably smaller and sits lower down than your left kidney to make room for your liver. By the way, your brain makes sure you don't drink too little or too much water. After you swallow some liquid, your mouth and throat start to fire signals to your brain, telling it to stop drinking. Otherwise, 
you'd keep gulping down water for the entire 10 to 60 minutes it takes the liquid to get to your cells. Your eyes can see something for a mere 13 milliseconds, and your brain will already process this image. The average blink lasts from 100 to 400 milliseconds. Even though the tongue isn't the strongest muscle in your body, it never gets tired. That's because of the way it's built. It's made up of eight interwoven muscles. The tongue is the only muscle with ends not connected to bone. Other muscles join two bones at both ends because that's how we pull and make a motion. There are around 700 different species of bacteria in your mouth. Over six billion of them live there. Your skin is your largest organ. It can cover the surface area of two bath towels. It accounts for around 16% of body weight and is around 22 square feet. If you typed 60 words per minute for eight hours a day, it would take you 50 years to type the human genome. You get tired pretty quickly when you're out in the heat. This happens because your body is trying really hard to keep itself cool, which puts a lot of extra work on it. So you get exhausted and tired, even if you don't do anything physically demanding. Your body has 78 organs, but only five of them are essential for survival. The brain, liver, kidney, lungs, and heart. Oh, the phone's ringing. Must be something urgent. At 11 p.m. Only all the gadgets in the house are silent. It's your ears that are ringing. You can also hear some hissing, whistling, buzzing, and even roaring. But all this noise doesn't have an external source. That's why it's known as phantom sounds. They can occur in one or both ears, constantly or from time to time. They're usually most noticeable at night, when nothing distracts you. Women have more taste buds on the surface of their tongues than men do. That's one of the reasons why 35% of ladies and only 15% of guys are super tasters. Those are people who feel flavors more strongly than others. Left-handed people usually prefer to chew on the left side. And right-handed people, well, you guessed it, chew on the right. Even if your fingerprints are damaged, they'll grow back in the same unique pattern. When breathing, a single lung only uses 5% of the oxygen you've inhaled. You wake up one morning, and while you're brushing your teeth, you notice a lump on the inside of your mouth, under your tongue. Immediately, you're concerned. You've never noticed this before. But not to worry. It's just torus mandibularis, a simple bony growth on the mandible of your mouth. If you have this extra bit of bone, you are part of the 40% of people with this anomaly. Although it can be more common depending on where you're from. For example, in the USA, this only occurs in 10% of the population. Bones are significant pieces within our bodies. We have 206 of them altogether. But some people may have an extra bone that they weren't expecting. We all have 12 pairs of ribs, equaling to 24 in total. However, 0.5% of people may have 25. The 25th is known as a cervical rib. Present from birth, it grows from the base of the neck, just above the collarbone. It can be on either side as a fully formed rib or just a thin strand of tissue fibers. There are some parts of our body that have remained with us throughout our evolution as a species, and some of us no longer share that same physical trait. The palmaris longus is a small tendon located in your wrist. By pressing the pads of your fourth finger and thumb, then clenching your wrist, the inside of your wrist will show the palmaris longus popping out. If this isn't visible, then you are part of a relatively small percentage that no longer possesses it. Lacking it has no effects on the strength of your grip, but being absent does give a decreased pinch strength in the fourth and fifth finger. It's believed that this muscle was actively used sometime in the evolutionary process of our species. It hasn't affected our bodies in any way, and it's merely a trait that some of us continue to have. It's also not dependent on either hand, regardless of which hand is dominant. Which hand do you use more often? If you're left-handed, you're part of the 10% club. And if you're ambidextrous, you're within the 1% to use both of your hands dominantly. Most ambidextrous people initially only use their left hand. 
ambidexterity and left-handedness share the indication that they are using both sides of the brain. Right-handed people are generally dominant only to the left side of the brain. We all have tailbones, a reminder of our long story of evolution. We stopped using our tails around 25 million years ago. Although, while we are still growing as embryos, we go through the process of growing a tail, and after about eight weeks, we lose it completely. There are some cases of humans being born with a tail. There are about 25 confirmed cases known to scientists. Those born with tails, though, won't have any real benefit, other than what the tailbone does for balance, anyway. The tails have no function other than physically being there, as they have no bones. The tails only consist of nerves, vessels, and muscles. Do you find that you are a picky eater? Do you think that coriander tastes like soap? Or you can't stand pineapple on pizza? This may be due to what kind of taster you are. Up to 30% of people are considered super tasters and will experience different levels of enjoyment or disappointment from their foods. Food that is bitter to the super taster will likely be sweet to average tasters who make up 40% of people. There are also 30% of people who are non-tasters and won't find anything too exciting. Do you have the ability to identify musical notes? About 1 in 10,000 people can flawlessly distinguish perfect pitch naturally. Although this doesn't necessarily mean that they will be the next big pop star. They're just able to easily identify a specific musical note upon listening to it. Our eye colors are so diverse. The difference in light exposure to eyes throughout the world determines how much melanin is produced, which helps create many different shades of color. Since migration has become more common over the past hundred years, the variations of shades of color are numerous. Your genes, of course, also playing a huge part. We could list hundreds of different shades of eye color to show how many variations there are, but we'll limit the distinct categories down to six main color groups to keep this brief. The vast majority of people have brown eyes, about 79% of the world's population share this eye color. Once, all humans only had the brown pigmentation, until around 6 to 10,000 years ago, when humans migrated to Northern Europe. A mutation occurred, helping the eyes to adapt to the change of light. Blue eyes became the most common of the mutated coloration, and all of them today can be traced back to one ancestor from Europe. Today, Blue eyes make up around 10% of the human population. Amber and hazel eyes each take up 5% respectively. Gray eyes are up to 3%. And the rarest of eye colors are green ones, consisting of only 2%. Rarer still is heterochromia iridum, where both eyes are of different colors. It's inherited and also affected by other genetic factors. Only 1% of the human population have this incredibly rare attribute. Although blue eyes have become more common, they're only more prominent within areas where people contribute similar variants of genes, since blue eyes are a recessive trait. Just like red hair, which only occurs within up to 2% of the population. If you have red hair and blue eyes, you will be part of the smallest percentile for hair and eye variety that makes up only 0.17% of the human population. Although green, gray, and hazel eyes are less abundant than blue, their genes are more dominant. So, within the small pool of redheads, blue eyes are less likely to occur. The melanin that has helped mutate eye colors can also have other effects on the human body. A genetic mutation that affects the melanin occurs in 0.005% of people in the USA, creating albinism. The occurrence differs in many ways throughout the world, the same as the effects with eyes. In albinism, the pigment production is altered to distribute major cells that affect the coloring of the skin, the hair, and the eyes. Most people with albinism will have snow-white skin, snow-white hair, 
and their eyes are a pale blue pinkish color, the pupil itself being red. The redness comes from the light reflecting off the vessels in the retina. There is another form of albinism which has a smaller amount of pigmentation, and the shade of skin and hair are slightly darker. Albinism occurs not only in humans, but practically all mammals, reptiles, and amphibians. Do you have a small hole at the front of your ear, above the ear canal? This is the preauricular pit. During the first six weeks of a child's development, long before being born, the auricle, which is the external part of your ear, will develop. The preauricular pit forms when the auricle doesn't fully fuse. This occurs within less than 1% of humans, although there's speculation that having this little hole is the remnant of gills that we once had from our seafaring ancestors, there's nothing solid to confirm this theory. There are some unique things we have that give us an advantage in everyday life. Some people carry a gene mutation of the DEC2 gene, also known in proper English as familial natural short sleepers. Essentially, it means people within this 1% only require about six hours of sleep each day. Most people will probably feel burned out after a day of this, but those lucky enough to be within this 1% will be sure to make the most out of their day. Have you ever looked at a picture and noticed that the color of something was different to what someone else can see? It may be that you have a rare ability to see more colors than everyone else possibly seeing 100 million different kinds of shades. If you do, you're part of the rare group of people called tetrachromats, who have four cone cells in their eyes, unlike everyone else who has three, and are identified as a trichromat. Studies are varied on who is part of this rare ocular phenomenon, though it's more prominent in females. It's suggested that up to 15% of women have this rare capability. Incredibly, it's an ability also shared with some species of birds, insects, fish, and other mammals. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.